Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, February 6th, 2024. Hope everyone's having a good morning. We've got uh, a little bit of green coming in. Stocks, uh, Stock futures over the last hour or so have kind of grinded upwards. Can't see here. Last couple hours just kind of been on a slow grind up. Um, I took a couple trades yesterday. If you're new, I took a couple volume runners just kind of on my own. I really like the setup. Let me uh, show you what I did just for teaching purposes. Pull this over here. It's easier to see and think or swim. I had a nice volume runner in Tesla yesterday. So this bar right here was bigger than the first. Okay, so on a little bounce, I got short right here. Hoping it would roll over, and it did. Nice winner there. And then I had one in Roku, actually, out of the gates pretty much. So I had this big bar right here. It's uh, just a little bit bigger than the first. And then I got short like right here. It started to bounce just a little bit. I got filled right there. It didn't It didn't uh, stay there very long, came right back down. And uh, you, then, it, then it produced another bigger bar, which you could have gotten in if you missed. If you missed this, you could have gotten in right here on this bounce. And I just scaled out. So... Two nice volume runner examples there. S&P for zero DTE expected move about 18.7. This is a little less than yesterday. Morning, Ken. Morning, El Piero. Disco, Benji, Fast, San Ray, and MRP. Um, I always do 10%. So every 10%, I'm, I'm getting out of some of my contracts on the Mighty 90 and Runners. Get out of half at ten percent, and then I usually, depending on how, you know, depends on how many contracts I have on the size of the stock. But if I have a lot of it, you know, if it's a dollar stock or a dollar twenty, you know, I may get out of half. I'll get out of half, and then maybe cut two at a time if I've got a bunch. You know, if it's like a Tesla or Nvidia, you know, maybe I'm doing six, and I get out of three, then one, then one, then one. Every every ten percent. There is the bell. Let's see. San Ray, I appreciate you call out trades. Audio isn't very clear. Okay, I mean that's what I that's, I do that every every time. If the audio if something's wrong with the audio, you just gotta notify me. I mean, I, as far as I know, it's always fine. So, and I'm always telling my strikes in the stock ahead of time. But yeah, if there's audio difficulty, I mean. Sometimes it may be on my end. Sometimes it might be on, you know, your end. Who knows? Just, just let me know.
VIX down one and a third, down to 13.5. NVIDIA uh, earlier here this morning, free market hit 700. It's coming down now, but heard somebody talking on the business channel. They thought it would hit 900 before the end of the year. Crazy. Dow in the red, NASDAQ up 50, SP up seven and a, and a half. Oh, yeah. So typically, when you, you know, when I'm doing these mighty 90 and runners, you know, I've got an idea of a you know, small size position, medium size position, large size position. So 95% of the time, I'm going in medium size. And so my mediums like $2,500 to $3,000 of buying power. My small would be, you know, maybe under twenty five hundred, closer to two thousand dollars of buying power, and my large would be, you know, above thirty five hundred. I always position size mighty nineties to add, you know, and then if I add, it probably becomes a bigger position. So, so you as you as traders and in, in knowing your account, you need to define what does small look like for you, what is medium, what is large and you know what are you going to do every time you know, are you going to go in medium 95 percent of the time like me or are you going to go in small 95 percent of the time you know that's a, that's your choice so that's kind of what i meant by that it's just part of your risk management plan you should have something else that i do personally for risk management with these types of trades is i don't go the same direction with more than three stocks and so if i'm long three different trades at the same time like that. I don't, I don't, I'm done in terms of going long or short, whichever direction, you know, I try to minimize it to, you know, but for someone else that may be two, maybe three, maybe five. Something that you should think about. Nice push up there in the S and P. Dow as well. Nasdaq staying a little weak. And if you didn't notice in live chat channel, I I um posted a little reflection yesterday, just because now I'm trading two accounts, and so I don't always do the exact same trades in both. And one was almost $2,800 in the positive and one was slightly red. And so I posted a little something in the live chat channel about my reflection on my, my morning trade, just getting into it too soon. So, you know, I think it's okay to get into it if you're into it before 9 a.m. Central. If it's just chopping out of the gates, but yesterday it really pushed down out of the gates and therefore I should have let it push a second time before entering. So like here we here, here, you know, like S&P really hasn't, 
I mean, it kind of tried, but it came right back down. So, you know, if it's set here and just chops within a tight range, you know, I think it's okay to jump in uh, earlier than later. But if, you know, if it has a, if it has a, you know, three or four bar push in one direction and then a pause, you, sh you know, I typically, my rules are is to wait for another push, whether it be another a push in, down or uh, another push up. Yesterday was a down push, a little bit of a pause, and then another down push. Sometimes it's tempting, you know, you want to jump in and get let that theta start decaying. You know, since I'm placing these trades throughout the day, it's you know, there's really no hurry to get into one. Uh, all right, so for some volume runner square. I mean, I don't there's no definition of push, but you can you can look at a you can look at a five minute bar chart and tell if it's a push or not, you know. Square looks like it's gonna be an upside volume runner. Yeah, volume runners can be good. They weren't the best for me in 2023. Started out better in 2024. My best in 2023 was Mighty 90s by far. Okay, so Square pushed up above this pivot. Yeah, we still got a minute and a half left. Let's see. This square have earnings February 22nd. So I would look for square, you know, to kind of pull back to this pivot maybe before I got in. All indices in the green. Tesla pushing up through highs. Now, Square, this volume bar is getting abnormally big. So a lot of times those don't always pan out. And if you notice my two examples I showed earlier today, they were one was just a couple ticks bigger than the first. And the other was a third, third bar that got bigger. But this is abnormally bigger. Uh, I'll jump in right now if I see a good setup. I us I usually wait till towards the end of the second bar. No pullback in square yet. Um, do I stop on a trade? I, I mean, I just scale out. I mean, it depends what strategy you're talking about there, MRP. Mighty 90, I'm out after two consecutive bars in, in the direction I want. So, I mean, just that, you know, I may or may not be at 50%. Yeah, Mighty 90s, we're looking for a bar bigger than the previous in the same direction with a little bit of, you know, good volume pop. Yeah, no, no pullback in square whatsoever. 
So that's just a case where it just doesn't really give you a chance to enter. Okay, NASDAQ pushing down, Russell and Dow pushing up. I mean, you can look at that and see that that's a, uh, you know, a push. The S&P has not pushed. Man, something's gotten in the square today. Volume runner and team. I don't trade team. I don't even know what team stock is. Yeah, too wide a bit ask. That's why I don't uh, trade it. 40 to 50 cents wide. Square with another big volume bar. Tesla's got an opportunity for a big volume bar. VIX still coming down. One minute to go, so I think Tesla's going to get there. Yeah, Roblox potential mighty 90. Let's see how big that bar gets. Oh, in Roblox? Yeah, I'd probably stay away from it then. Yep. Good call, Dan. Definitely, definitely a mighty 90 signal. It's not to say that you couldn't couldn't trade it, but That's still pushing up to yesterday's high. So we'll see if we get a little pullback. And square dips back down here. I might jump in. Let's see. Tesla, I would trade the 185 calls. I come back down. Man, may leave without me. Man, it looks like it's going to leave without me. <clears throat> I mean, it's hard to jump in. Yeah, you know, I've just traded so many volume runners. Like, you know, you need a, you really need a pullback because if you jump in right there and then it comes, you know, halfway down this, this green, previous green bar, like you're just setting yourself up for having to dig yourself out. 
So coming down here a little bit now. So I might try to jump in here. See if I can get filled at 345. Filled at 345 on the 185 call. And you could get a better fill than I did. See, so got filled at 345. So, you know, 10% is roughly 35 cents. So at 380, I would close half. We're pausing. You can definitely get a better fill than me on Tesla. Uh, Dan B, Dan B three. I wouldn't enter more than three longs or three shorts at one time. Because if it goes against you, you're in trouble. If you have more, I mean, that's just my own personal risk management. Uh, yeah, on our, I believe they're on our navigation trading YouTube channel. The replays. Uh, Michael, I see you're using the Zoom chat. You want to use the day trading chat channel in Discord. I don't, I don't monitor. I don't monitor the uh, Zoom chat, but yeah, three days to expiration. Always use the one closest to zero. Square trying to continue upward. Mighty 90 potential long in Netflix. Let's see if it'll come down a little bit more before I was I would enter there though. At AMD close to a downside volume runner. I'll have to check toss on that one. Let's see what AMD says. Uh, filled at 380 to close half of my Tesla. Yeah, it didn't quite get there, AMD. It was close. I'm more interested in this Netflix Mighty 90. If it comes down through lows, I would maybe enter along there. Let's see. So Tesla, I would get out of another one at 415, another contract. Quarter, get out of a quarter. Let's see, Netflix, I would trade the 560 calls.
Let's see if I can get filled at. Let's see. It's kind of, kind of popping up right now. I'm going to give it a sec, see if it'll come back down. I wanted to see it push through lows just a little bit, get filled, and then it can bounce all at once. See how Microsoft, I mean, Microsoft doesn't have a mighty 90, but in terms of price action, I want to see it push through there. No, no red in square. Tesla, not able to break through yet. That's... We'll see it get going here. Yeah, Netflix. Netflix left me. I had a, had a little bit of a shot down here to jump in. Wasn't aggressive enough. It's too bad. Another big bar from the square. Darn it, that would have been a nice one in Netflix. Ooh, and you had a mighty 90. Yeah, rookie, I just saw that. Darn it. Yeah, so I mean that's that's good volume separation, you know, right there. That's that's what you're looking for. PayPal, the big volume bar. Sometimes these monster volume bars, I'm a little leery of. They don't always work. Disney getting a big volume bar to the upside, potential upside volume runner. See if Disney pulls back any. Went through yesterday's high. Eton, small stock, getting some big bars. Used to trade a ton of Piton with these strategies when we first started trading, just because it was. You know, a lot bigger than back, a lot bigger back then. All right, I want to see Tesla kind of take off here pretty soon. I like that it's holding. You know, like Meta's pushing down. Netflix hasn't been able to rip up. So if Netflix comes back down, I could still get in on that mighty 90. See what futures are doing. Coming down. That's interesting. Tesla's holding.
Square pulling back a little bit. What about Disney? Disney coming down a little bit. Let's see. Disney, I would trade the 98 calls. It's trying to get filled at 275, but it's leaving without me. Yeah, I'm going to cancel my Disney. Netflix still hasn't come down. Man, would love to see Netflix come back down to lows. Oh, Disney's coming down a little bit back down now. Ninety eight calls in Disney. Build at two sixty nine. So I would get out of half at two eighty five. No push up in Tesla yet. One thing about Disney, though, I don't like is it's got such a tight range. But I'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah, 295. Change that. Job MRP. Did my math in my head wrong. So Tesla coming down, I don't like to see that out of a volume runner. It needs to hold right there. Right, I'm going to close my Tesla. Build it 288. So that's unfortunate. Things getting weak here. Netflix has come down. So let me look back at a, this mighty 90 in Netflix. Five sixty two point five calls. Five sixty two point five calls. Build at five fifty. Yeah, you could get a better fill than me again. <laughs> Not 
Tesla popping back up, you brat. Disney's still coming down. I might be adding to my Tesla. I'm, I'm sorry, not Tesla. I might be adding to my Netflix. I would add it five bucks. Build it five dollars. Tesla popping back up. Okay, Disney not doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to close my Disney. Build it 260. So small loser. I mean, it's not nothing major. <clears throat> Don't like what I'm seeing out of this volume bar in Netflix. Oh, Meta really flushing. I don't like that this volume bar in Netflix is looking like it's going to get as big as the first. I'm going to keep my eye on that. Wow. Got myself in a little mighty 90 flush. So I would close half my... Netflix at five fifty. Now oh, look at Tesla just bounce right back up. Yeah, Nvidia's got a little bit has a mighty ninety here as well. See, NVIDIA, I would trade the 680 calls. Build at 11.95 in NVIDIA. So if NVIDIA pushes down again, I might add to it. Let me look at that Netflix. Not quite as – Netflix isn't quite as big as the first, so it didn't – wouldn't necessarily qualify for a downside volume runner. Okay, futures. Still pretty much just a, one straight push down right now. Yeah. I, again, you can see massive volume bar just doesn't work when it gets just to be obnoxiously big. You can see it's coming down. It's not good. Let's see. So for NVIDIA, I'm going to close half at 1320. Tesla's going to rip up. See how it 
flushed me out there with that down move, and before that bar finished, it pushed up. Need a bounce from Netflix. Darn it, there goes Tesla. Ah. I should have let that bar close. It dipped its toe below the consolidation, and then it popped right back up. That would have been a massive winner. Instead, it was a small losing trade for me. Ah, look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Would have been a juicy one. And I'm well aware that sometimes they do this. Like a volume runner sometimes – or even a continuation runner, it, it, it'll it'll pop down below that little consolidation, and then and then it will pop back up. I maybe should have waited another couple minutes to see what it was going to do. There's been days where I've held them, held the I've held some that do that, and then there's days where I just cut it. And look at Boeing ripping through highs of day. The two stocks we're long in aren't going up yet. Build at 1320 to close half my NVIDIA. All right, Netflix, your turn. Your turn, my guy. Wow, look at Boeing. Boeing is going. Looking for two... Executive green bars out of NVIDIA. And honestly, I only did two contracts because it was so big. So I only have one left. All right, so S&P futures pushing down. Let's see if it's got another push down or if it's going to consolidate or if it's going to push up. And Microsoft falling apart. Need a good two-bar bounce out of old Mr. Netflix. Not looking good at the moment. Square pulled back. Trying to pop back up. Hold right there, NVIDIA. I want to see you push up. Boeing had a nice-looking Mighty 90. See that? Missed it already, but... VIX coming, coming up.
Got any continuation runners? Baba pushing up. Looking for two consecutive green bars out of Netflix and NVIDIA. Tesla came back down. S&P still falling. Mm-mm, Netflix, come on. And like Netflix wants to bleed lower. This is where not like one thing I one thing I don't do is I don't look at my profit loss. I mean, I just know with position sizing, you know, that I'm okay. So like Netflix, like I'm not even looking at my PL with for it right now. I'm sure it's bad. But like I said, I know because of my position sizing, I'm fine. Kind of hoping it bounces off this pivot. NVIDIA is trying to give us two green bars, which with the market being weak, probably should close it after these two green bars. Tesla coming back down. It's kind of setting up as a continuation runner to the upside. My hope here is, is that NVIDIA, you know, it, it dipped its toe below this pivot. It finishes above it and then rips up. Let's see what futures are doing. Yeah. NASDAQ trying to pop up a little bit. So I, you know, if you want to close your NVIDIA, go ahead. I'm going to see if it. I'm going to because I only have one contract on. I'm going to see if it if it's going to rip higher here, just because it's NVIDIA and it's always always usually strong. Um, but you could close yours for the winner if you want. I'm going to give it like a minute here and then decide if I want to see if this will run up or not. I also kind of like to check it and see what everything else is doing. See, like AMD's down to this pivot. Looks like a good point for it to come back up. But technically, we should be getting out of Netflix. I'm sorry, uh, NVIDIA, technically. You know, see, Apple's trying to rebound. I just want to see if... NVIDIA wants to rip up here since I only did two contracts. See how Microsoft came down below yesterday's low. I mean, this is just this is just from years of watching price movement. So far, it's not looking like it wants to, but. Look at AMD. See, like AMD is trying to rebound here. So there we go. I would like to see um, Netflix at least fill me at half here.
back down, but. Okay, so futures getting a little bit of a bounce. And so, um, you know, let's have one push down. Let's see if it's going to push up and then it might be time for an iron condor. I mean, just no green in, in Netflix hardly at all. I'm going to go ahead and just close my NVIDIA and uh, take my profits here. Actually, filled it, filled it 13.55. Close NVIDIA. So winning mighty 90 there. Now if we can just get some green out of Netflix. Tesla again, that might be a good upside continuation runner here. Look at Disney, a volume runner was a failed volume runner. Glad I got out when I did. The Russell coming up to highs of day. So talking a little bit of zero DTE while we wait for Netflix to give us two green bars. Um, so here's push one. So, you know, is it going to roll over and give me a second push or is it going to continue to push up? That's the question. So before I enter a zero DTE, Iron Condor, I'm going to wait a little bit longer here to see what the happens with this second, second push. Mm -mm. Netflix, come on. I don't like that uh, a lot of stocks... Uh, bounced there netflix didn't maybe it's just taking a little bit longer tesla coming back down Tesla might be a good spot to get in a continuation runner right here. Amazon coming down through lows of day. I don't like that.
a little green out of Netflix dipped its toe below this pivot. Microsoft working on three green bars in a row. Well, folks, don't think I'm going to get in anything else. So I've just got to manage this Netflix. And so I will just wait for two green bars. And I guess we'll see if, if things start getting strong. I may leave on a runner, but otherwise I'll close out after two consecutive green bars. So manage your position the way you, you best see fit for your account. But I always, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pretty much a stickler for getting two consecutive bars in the direction I need. I mean, it's going to happen. It's just, you know, when will it happen? That's, that's the big thing. So that's why position sizing is so important. So I will see everybody during power hour and I'll be looking at um, zero DTE here. In the next, you know, 15, 20 minutes, I'll post in the live chat. So See you during power hour. Peace.